So for a first example, let's integrate uh, from pi to 2 pi and from 0 to pi uh, sine of x plus cos of y dx dy. So first we'll integrate uh, in the x variable. So this stuff stays the same, and so we uh, integrate treating y as a constant. Uh, so this will become a negative cos x plus x cos y, and then we evaluate that at pi and at zero and subtract the result dy. So this will become the integral with respect to y from pi to 2 pi. Uh, let's see, so negative cos pi will be 1 plus pi cos y minus, uh, minus 1 and then 0 cos y. So this will be um, 2 plus pi cos y dy, and that is 2y uh, plus pi sine y at 2 pi and at pi, and now uh, sine of pi and 2 pi is 0, so this will be 2 times 2 pi minus 2 times pi equals 2 pi. Uh, now, let's uh, see, for example, how that calculation would look like in the other order. So if we go integral, uh, now, pi 2 pi on the inside and 0 pi on the outside, uh, sine of x plus cos of y dy dx. So this will be integral 0 to pi, uh, y sine x plus sine of y at 2 pi and at pi, and then that with respect to dx, which is integral 0 to pi, uh, so that will be pi sine of x, and then yeah, since again, sine of 2 pi and pi is 0, just be this with respect to dx. That is negative pi cos x evaluated at pi and at 0. And uh, again, so cos pi will be uh, negative 1. So yeah, so again, we get 2 pi. Next, let's do integral 0 to pi, integral negative pi to 0 of y sine x plus y dx dy. OK, so this is integral, so first with respect to x, uh, 0 to pi, uh, this will be a negative y cos x plus y at 0 and at negative pi, and then that with respect to dy. So this is integral 0 pi at negative y cos y, and then I guess plus y cos y minus pi. Uh, but this from trig anometry, uh, we know that this is, this is, or this part is negative cos y, so we can simplify this to integral of negative 2 uh, y cos y. So that, uh, with respect to dy, and now here we're going to have to, so this is going to be a bit more complicated, we're going to integrate by parts. 
uh, in Y with respect to solve this. So uh, this will be, let's see, um, uh, this will, will, I guess, give us negative uh, 2y sine y at pi and at 0. Uh, and since you can already see that that term is going to cancel out since sine of pi is 0, uh, and then plus integral 0 pi of... Uh, so we'll differentiate the y out. Um, so now this will be integral 0 to pi of or 2 sine y dy. Now that is negative 2 cos y at pi and at 0. And this, uh, you can see, will be equal to this is equal to 4. OK, now let's try it uh, again in the other direction, or in the other order. So erase most of this. Um, so now I'll swap the order of these two. So we'll have a 0 to pi first, and then negative pi to 0, and swap the order of these two. OK, so dy dx. So now we're going to have to integrate uh, by parts in the first step. So this will be. Um, uh, so this will be negative y cos x plus y at pi and at 0. And then, uh, I guess, plus integral 0 pi of, uh, of cos x plus y dy. Uh, where, and so if we evaluate this, so negative pi uh, to 0 of, well, again we have, so negative pi uh, cos x plus pi, uh, and then plus 0, okay, so that, so we don't need the other term of that. Um, and again, cosine of x plus pi will be equal to a negative cosine of x. So this term becomes uh, pi, pi cos of x. And then this integral will be, or sorry, um, plus sine x plus y at pi and at 0. Uh, and now we have that. Uh, so that'll give a sine of this is equal to, so sine of x plus pi is equal to negative sine of x. And then we're also subtracting some sine of x of that. So that's, this will become all of this is minus 2 sine x. So we're integrating pi cos x uh, minus 2 sine x dx. And so now that becomes pi sine x and uh, minus or plus 2 cos x. And then that evaluated at 0 and negative pi. Again, sine of 0 and of negative pi is 0. So this term is going to go away. And then we're going to get 2 cos 0, uh, which is 1 minus 2 cos negative pi, which is uh, negative 1. So again, we'll get 4. Finally, let's say we're asked to find 
uh, the volume of the region which is bounded above by the surface Z is equal to 4 minus y squared and below by the rectangle uh, by the rank rectangle 0 less than equal x less than equal 1 and 0 less than equal y less than equal to 2. Uh, so this volume calculation is asking us to evaluate the following integral. So y from 0 to 2 and x from 0 to 1, 4 minus y squared dx dy. So integrating a constant with respect to dx, this is just going to become the same as 0, integral 0 to 2 of 4 minus y squared dy. That we know will be uh, 4y minus one third y cubed at two and at zero. Uh, so that'll be eight minus eight over three is equal to 16 over three. Uh, and in this case, if we swap the order, we would get basically the exact same uh, result. Or I guess first we do this integral with respect to y, but point is that integrating from 0 to 1 of dx is just going to give you back, if it's a constant, is just going to give you back whatever that is.